Hey guys, how's it going? We are building a DOS gaming PC, but this time it is interactive and you get to choose the parts. This is a little bit of a thank you to all my viewers and subscribers. In this video, you get to vote on which computer we're gonna build. You have a choice of going for a 386, a 486 or a Socket 7 machine, which is the Pentium era. Don't be fooled by the parts that are on the desk. These are not necessarily the parts that we're gonna end up choosing. The idea is that over a few videos, we narrow down the parts and I will put together the machine, talk about it, demonstrate it, do some benchmarks and basically build a machine that you guys picked. To cast your vote, have a look at the top right corner of the screen. There should be a little eye icon. You can click on that and basically submit your vote. You need to be logged on to do that and you need to be on the desktop or have a YouTube app on your Android with a version 10.09 and later or on the iOS of 10.07 and later. Because of the interactive nature, I will be uploading videos quite frequently. So in order to get all the notifications, make sure you're subscribed and then click on that little bell down below underneath the video and enable notifications. I'm not 100% sure about the logistics. I'm kind of making this up as I go along, but I will try to give the boat 24 hours to settle. It will update the results in real time, so you will get an idea pretty early what the result is. After the 24 hours, I'll have a look which vote ended up winning, and I'll put that down below in the description, and I will pin that comment so it's really easy to find. So guys, cast your vote. Do you wanna build a 386, 486, or a socket seven machine? Now, we're not gonna choose uh, little things like uh, how much RAM or cache and stuff like that. So the obvious uh, parts I will choose for you, but all the essentials like what processor um, or what sound card, you will get to choose those. That's it guys, uh, thanks for watching and hopefully you like this idea and we'll see how this develops. Maybe that's something I can uh, do more often in the future. Thanks for watching, see you soon.